Hello everyone and welcome. I just want to do another uh, quick little tutorial here. Uh, this one's just basically how to prepare a file for um, data moshing or, or kind of uh, glitching out in Audacity here. So um, yeah, so I'll say I have this picture here. It's uh, a picture I took on my Canon Rebel TI um, 3i, I believe, camera. And it's in the uh, the uncompressed uh, Adobe format, which is a CR2. And it's just a mugshot, it's just a self-portrait picture of myself. The same picture we used uh, for the other tutorial um, using Audacity. Um, so yeah, so I have this uh, this uncompressed but weird file format. Um, generally, it doesn't really work if I if I try to do something with Audacity. If I import it in, if I glitch it out, it's going to throw an error and it won't open up afterwards. So uh, I actually like to use um, Adobe Bridge for applications like this. So I open up my Adobe Bridge. And uh, the reason why I like using Adobe Bridge is actually because of uh, Camera Raw, which is sort of a built-in uh, dummy version of Photoshop. Basically, if you go into Adobe Bridge, and this actually only works on slightly older versions, so if you have the most, the newest and greatest Adobe Bridge, you actually have to go and download the Camera Raw plugin, but I think it's a very useful plugin to have. And then basically, I can just click, right-click on any of um, the pictures that I have in here, and then it should give me an option to open up in Camera Raw right here. So I can do that. I'll click open up in camera raw and I'll have my picture in camera raw. So this is just sort of a really it uses all the Photoshop um, you know effects and all those the processes, but it uses sort of this nice easy to deal with interface. I can do, you know, simple editing if I wanted and I don't know what the fuck. I could just mutilate it or do whatever I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna do that. And instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to save images and then it gives me a few basic options for what I want to save my image you can, you can have you know document name a bunch of other stuff so I'll just say like okay well I'll preserve the document name I'll just do an underscore and then a tiff to remind myself it's a tiff or something right and then uh, under format here I'll change it to tiff and then um, I don't actually really need the metadata for this, so I'm just going to keep copyright only, get rid of the rest of met metadata. This will make sure my header is a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to use. Uh, go to compression, and no compression. You don't want to compress at all. If it is compressed, then uh, it actually, we can't work with it. Uh, so there's other stuff like image scaling. If, if you wanted to make sure that it was under a certain size, because TIFFs can, can be pretty big or whatever, you can do that there. I mean, me, myself, I, I actually love working with these huge, huge, huge files. Um, I, I figure the more data, the better. And it just sort of, um, I don't know, I prefer working with the larger files. Now, that being said, when you work with the larger files, that means if you use any sort of time scale or not time scale, but time based effects, um, you want to make sure that those also kind of have a longer time frame that they operate within. Because uh, once Audacity loads these images, it will load it as a much longer audio file than if it was a, if it was a uh, smaller image. And smaller is in file size, not specifically pixels, although, you know, of course, that's a part of it. Um, so fantastic. And I hit done here. I'm all good to go. Now, one thing that, that you may run into is you may run into a situation where you actually can't do that right click and open in camera raw. Like it, it, it just will be missing. So you actually have to go and then open it in Photoshop and do the same process through Photoshop, which I'll show you real, right out here. All right, so we're, we open this up here in uh, Photoshop. And then since it was open before in a an Adobe Bridge and, and using Camera Raw here is going to open it up again in Camera Raw. Um, but actually, Camera Raw just gives you this option here for open image. But let's pretend like you know you can't open it up in Camera Raw and you can only open it up in Photoshop. Here it is in Photoshop. The workflow is going to be the same. Um, you can just go up here and then um, actually save as works for it. And then you can choose the format as TIFF. Uh, you do not want to embed the color profile. Hit save. It's going to give you some more options. You do not want to compress it. You do not want to save image pyramid, so leave this unticked. 
Um, and then for byte order, uh, it doesn't really matter. And then for pixel order, it also doesn't really matter. So hit OK. And then you can quit out Photoshop. And then we have our images here. All right. So we can uh, open up Audacity. And then we're going to go through the same process as before in order to load these up into Audacity. So we're going to go to File. We're going to go to, um, oops. <laughs> We can go to file, we can go to import, raw data. And then we'll open up the Photoshop one first, uh, which was, uh, yes. And we're gonna do uh, encoding as ULaw. Byte loader order is little Indian, channels as two, everything else as it was. And import. All right, there we go. We got it. You can see our header information at the beginning there, and then the start of the image data right afterwards. All right. That concludes the tutorial for today on how to use Adobe Bridge and its uh, plugin camera raw to convert uh, any sort of image format to a TIFF that we can use for uh, data glitching in Audacity. Thanks for tuning in and checking it out.